Hello all and welcome to this late afternoon beer review. Um, who knows how many more of these beer reviews I'm going to do. It kind of depends on how long I'm going to be working. Oh, hey. Um, it's kind of sinking in what my decisions now. So I'm going to dub this one the um, Chinese food beer review because I went out to a nice luncheon um, to celebrate my grandfather's 87th birthday and um, he's quite healthy and he likes Chinese food so we went out to a Chinese restaurant it was actually nice this time because we ordered some very different things that we usually didn't order and um, I really quite enjoyed the food and um, you know um, I, I guess I'm sort of picky about Chinese food but we had some really good stuff we had the Jai and you know I kind of like to go out there a little bit and beyond the usual kind of savory gravied meats and noodles and sweet sour sauces and today we did and it was really nice and you know speaking of pushing ourselves past our boundaries um we kind of had a beer tonight today um that sort of expresses that sentiment in that if in the last review i recorded which i haven't uploaded like i haven't uploaded the past three or four months of reviews really I noted that um, I usually don't review, one thing I haven't really reviewed much of is black IPAs because I don't like the style. And what do I do? I immediately go out and get a black IPA. And in particular, uh, this particular beer is uh, Waikiki Brewing's Aumoe uh, Black Rye IPA. So it's black and it's a rye IPA. And... <clears throat> Sorry, frog caught in my throat there. And, um, you know, so it's, it, it said it wasn't too roasty, so I thought, well, what, after all these years, why don't I go and give it another shot? Why don't I go and give the style another shot? Um, you know, and I love rye IPAs. I love that bright citrusiness, that nice, um, spiciness to the malt that adds, that sometimes has a really nice interplay with the, uh, hops. And, why not go forth and try it again? So, without much further ado, we are going to be having Almoy Black Rye IPA, Black Rye IPA from Waikiki Brewing. It's a 6.1 ABV. We're going to be using regular no neck glass today. Give it a fairly vigorous pour, because why not? Okay, let's hold it up to the light here. And as you can see, quite dark. I would say it's a little bit lighter than cola colored, sort of a reddish amber where the light finally passes through it. With an off-white to beige head that's fairly thick. I'm wondering if I should have let it cool, warm up a little bit more. <clears throat> it is um, really muted on the nose. Kind of zesty, rindy hop smell, but again, very muted. Hints of that citric tang that comes from the rye. Recording a review, Mom. I'll come back up in a little bit. That was just my mother knocking on the door. And, um, again, very muted sort of, um, very muted sort of nose, <laughs> bouquet to it. And so, why don't we get to the test tasting here? Sorry, it threw me off of my, uh, threw me off of my groove a little bit.
And I am reminded why I don't really drink the black IPA style. By no means is it bad. It's just the roastiness, the roastiness of the malts in the finish and the hoppiness in the finish, the, especially the resiny kind of aspect to the hops in the finish, really just kind of clash on my palate. So getting beyond that though, getting beyond my own personal taste, let me just close this up a little bit, starting to go and mess up the light in here. There's a slight sort of smokiness in the front. The fairly, um, fairly soft and light in mouthfeel. Not really chewy, uh, which you probably could expect for a 6.1. There's not much residual sugars either. There, there's very little sweetness to this. And outside of a bit of orangey brightness in the front, the uh, rye is kind of buried under the roasted aspect of the malts and the um, the pretty intense hot bitterness in the finish. Though I'm not sure if it's the intensity of the hot bitterness, I'm, I'm not sure of the IBUs of this, the, the IBU rating on this, but um, it's, it's, ah, uh, it's tongue, it's tongue coating to say the least. All in all, I'd say it's a fairly, fairly muted palette-wise, except for the intense bittering aspect of the hull, of the hops with the malts, the hulls, <laughs> um, in the finish, which are really intense. Um, even if it's not, you know, quite my cup of tea, I don't really think that this would be a black IPA fans. You know, this wouldn't blow them away because, um, like I said, the front and the mids and the, you know, the nose are all very muted. As it warms up, some spiciness is starting to develop in the mids to the finish. But again, it's... Very muted, very subtle as compared to the hot bitterness and the malt bitterness, the malt roastiness, and and it just doesn't play well for me, um, black IPAs. But you know, it's always good to go and go good to go and give it a shot and see if my tastes have changed a little bit. And um yeah. And uh, those of you who are wondering, oh, why is your mother knocking on your door and telling you going to be up in a minute? And that's because my mom lives across the way in another unit, so I'd be crossing over um, to the next unit over and up the stairs where she lives. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, man, I live in Hawaii. I, you know, um, she had a great landlord, and, you know, this studio opened up, so, heck, I jumped in, man. But back to the beer. Which I am kind of loath to talk about further because, you know, it, it, it's not my style. I'm trying it again. From an objective standpoint, yes, it's within the style of the Black IPA. Yes, it does have some aspects that determine, you know, that show that rye is part of the malt bill. But even for a Black IPA fan, I think, you know, it's just a little bit too muted. Um... In the nose, in in much of the palate, to really be 
incredibly attractive to them. That said, you know, I'm not trashing the brewery. I'm not saying this is a drain pour. It's not a horribly made beer. It's, one, not to my style, and two, kind of meh. Um, again, not trashing the brewery. You know, I like when people experiment. Let me be upfront about that. And I hope to go and see more from them in the future. And I'm very willing to go and try what you brewing. And I have rated some of their beers well. And, um, you know, again, I as a reviewer, I try not to trash things. I like to go and push myself out. Again, caveat, this is not my style. This is one of the few styles I don't like at all. Um, from the standpoint of looking at the style, it's not a great entry into the style. Um, in the sense that it's not a great example, but it's not bad. It's within style. And, um, you know, maybe I should have got something else. But hey, gotta go and try it every now and then, maybe once every year, once every two years, see if my palate and my taste buds have changed and it's suddenly attractive to me. That's your beer review for tonight, folks, or this afternoon. Cheers.